What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury swimming hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. What was her brother doing in this shithole? Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. I agree. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Something you want to say, Nick? You work for Monarch. Have you ever heard of the zip code theory? No. <laughs> what would you do if I told you that all of Monarch's plans may be centered around the numbers 01122? Hey! I would go on. Think I found a way in. Probably with slightly less respect for you. Hear me out. 2010, 1999. Both years show up in Monarch files. Minus 1999 from 2010, 11. Times 11 by 2010, flip it backwards, what number do you get? Remind me why I saved you. Damn it. These stutters aren't going away. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? Okay, May 17th, 1998. $12,000 ago. Must have hauled a lot more to this place than just Here's some old trusty boxes. Trusty pet mouse, Schrodinger, in order... Wait, he's gone. Where'd he go? Shit. Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. You owned come on, this place come on, since come on, you're okay. 1999? Why didn't you tell me, Will? Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future. No wonder you are always coming up with crazy exactly shit. Five minutes after he enters the machine. It has now been three minutes. No sign of Schrodinger. This is a very good sign. Two minutes to go. Okay, so, yeah. Turns out he just kind of sat inside the corridor for five minutes, took a shit on the tubing. This reveals a very clear... And we're back. This is Bobby Radford with the latest. We got an official statement from Monarch Solutions, and <laughs> it's just what you'd expect, really. You know, Some lives were tragically lost due to that. They're investigating. Essentially, they're saying no. And what they tell us, the thing is, they were lost. 
good luck in there? Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. About time. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Yeah. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken, shut down. What the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? They said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Is that? Yeah, I think so. A second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I help them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we could do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. What? The shit! 
I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. He must have hit it here. What is this? A goddamn spaceship? Okay, core controls. Where are they? Will received a massive research grant in 1997. He'd successfully built the time machine by 1999. But the results scared him. He never told a soul. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle. I think. The schematics for the countermeasure spanned 11 years, 1999 to 2010. In itself, that wasn't strange. But the guy built a working time machine in two. These schematics are all in Will's writing. He did all of this. Built everything. Monarch was made aware of The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. I can't activate the core till it's reset. I need to find a way to reset the core first. You might want to take a look at this, Jack. How the hell do they keep this all a secret? 17 years and they still didn't find it. You said Will built a countermeasure. What makes you so sure this isn't it? The time machine? He said the countermeasure was stolen. But the machine is still here. Hey! It looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will was leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. I think the control doohickey's right here. The key fits. It looks like I have to do something else first.
Here goes nothing. Activate the corridor next. Oh, Jesus, look at that thing go! It's a hell of a thing, huh? Jesus, look at this thing. One guy built all that? No way that's possible, man. It took me five months to build a shitty birdhouse. You think he had help? I'll bet a lot of guys got paid under the table to get this thing running. Thank God. Whoa! Did you guys see that? Will's key did that? Yeah. Key to a time machine and he left it in a trunk of his goddamn car. That's my brother in a nutshell. That didn't sound good. Oh, fuck. Let's just hope it still works. You, um, uh, seem to be taking all this surprisingly well. Don't get me wrong, this is weird as fuck, but it beats being back in that room with two asshats holding a gun to my head. Ah, it's fair enough. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. But we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? That sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere. We don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. 
It's in our interest to find out where. And if Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. Mr. Joyce is waiting for us down below. Don't even twitch. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Up into the past. I tried to change things. Answer me this question, Bob. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I one way, Mr. George, with miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me here. With you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause. Dead and buried, along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration. A celebration in the face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I one way, Mr. Joyce, with miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. come this far to get derailed now. You talk to him, find out what he knows. Then get rid of him. You're all heart money bags. I know you want to make this all about you and me, Jack. But that's far away in the past now. And I have a speech to prepare for. this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it, all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place.
Time is breaking down. Monarch has been preparing for it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol. And it can save us, at least some of us. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? Anyone who might implicate Monarch. Fuck you. Hmm. Wait! We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! Liam, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone! We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. They're losing their effectiveness. They're fine. No. I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. They're increasing in frequency and duration. They'll dissipate. I've told you that. You need to consider that maybe what you have seen is wrong. It's not wrong. Prepare for my speech. Sophia, you shouldn't worry so much. I'm just not, I'm not really into drinking a lot, I guess. Oh, mm. rough day? Yeah. Yeah, same here. Like what? I have things happen in my day. I do. Uh -huh. We had, uh, I had to deal with some internal affairs. Internal affairs? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Trader. Is that what all that commotion was about? Yep. Okay. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> Who's the. Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Uh, what? I am not at liberty to discuss this. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, I guess, I guess I'm just going to have to leave you hanging on that one. For real. This time. Oh, I just thought maybe you'd want to. Share it with me. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna use the restroom, so I'll leave you hang in here for real. Okay. Go mingle. Yeah. Drink okay. a little. Okay. Alright. Yeah.
Thanks for the gun. Dr. Rummel? Martin, I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. Then what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism, distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios, I mean, if I'm being honest. I rue the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said, I care about Monarch. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? I look threatened to you. What's going on? It's nothing. We were just having a little chat. You should prepare for your speech. Enjoy it, Doctor. Hey, you're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker! Crocker! I really need to take a shit. Fuck, come on, Croc. Crocker. Crocker! Come on, Crocker! <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, Over there. Where? The woman with the necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty good choice, yeah. but I'm gonna have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks, chatting about stocks. Yeah. Richard, where the hell have you been? Didn't have my invitation. Oh my god, you're always losing this. I'm not losing anything. Drama. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. She's going for it. No. Bam. No. Told ya. Why am I losing you so bad? Bird. I don't think I can drink I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. Alright. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually hate all of this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for your it. encouragement. <laughs> oh, oh. Nicely done. Oh. Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? Hey, 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 hey. Burke, listen, if I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. 
I will put in a good word for you. I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking is please let me take a fucking shit. Go to the back wall. Oh, fuck, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Come on. Oh, man. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah. So you don't mind that we left, do you? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think, because somebody twisted my arm. What the fuck is that? Kind of looks like a dinosaur wearing a helmet. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Wh hey, where are we? Are we even allowed to be out here? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> So what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What, if I hadn't gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, and I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you work a little too much. Yes. Is but that I... a good answer? <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work. You know, I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, oh, do you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. I am not. I guess, yeah. I love work. Hold oh, it right shit. there! Shit. You little fuck! Hey, hey, what? All you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab! You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? She's the reason I'm here. Gun still necessary? Yeah. Come on, hurry up. You're a very kind person. It's right up here. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. Glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> You're welcome. Is this it? What is that? What the 
fuck is that? Disrupted life form. Extremely hostile. Only ever heard of him. Life form. It's Dr. Kim. Do you know who I am? Martin Hatch, Paul's um, other half. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I see the monarch's well-being. Oftentimes, the matters Paul may find um, well, arbitrary. So you're his assistant? A little more complex than that. It doesn't sound like it. Now, I can sit here and offer you my condolences for your brother, and uh, well, you can tell me to fuck off. I could tell you Paul doesn't want you to suffer the same fate, and you could tell me to fuck off. Or, I could point out that there's a difference between Paul and myself. You see, Paul, he... Well, he still has such hope for the world, whereas I lean towards a more realistic approach. Trouble is, I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. Joyce, with miscalculation can often come catastrophe. Paul's a very dangerous man, practically a zealot. And things will only get worse if he continues unchecked. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. Maybe you and I can find some common ground. He was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in uh, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's remnant of mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got the um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LiPo protocol could save us. I have no idea, but the, the chronon field regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. We have to go. Wait. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Turn. No, no, no. 
don't, 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 Charlie! 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 Fuck it! <laughs> 